Ethanol gas, ethanol free gas. He's a big fan of that. So we found this little. We don't want no corn in our gas. <laughs> right? Yes, yeah, ethanol free. Mm -hmm. I like my jerry cans. I'm so proud of them. I, I really don't know why. I, I don't know what's special about them, but he wouldn't know what's special about a curling wand either, so. Can't go get more. That was $11 worth of gas. I need to go get some more. Michael Cerruti. Yeah. $2.70 a gallon for ethanol free fuel. Okay. Are you recording me? and the pecan trees seem to be doing pretty well. Well, these are all apples. They're doing pretty good. I might, end up, might even end up taking the cages off of them because I don't really have much of a deer issue here. And then these are peaches. And down there is a uh, avocado tree. A couple different types of peaches. And I've got a lemon and a satsuma tree over here. But the avocado seems to be doing pretty well. Um, I guess for lack of a better word. <laughs> Avocado. Our garden's been absolutely destroyed by all the rain. We gotta finish the fence on it, but as you can see, we've got two rows of asparagus here. These are all blueberries. Those are all blueberries. And then there's two rows, I'm sorry, two rows of raspberries back there. Um, Right here is a satsuma, and then there's a lemon tree. And then out in the front of the house is the pecans, and they're just doing amazing. Hey, Doodle. Are you sitting on an egg? Yes, ma'am. Doodle is sitting on one egg. We let her sit on it, you know, because she doesn't have a whole lot on her schedule right now. <laughs> but she is an amazing mama. Her sister was unfortunately killed by a stray dog. <laughs> so, I noticed a couple weeks ago a bluish tint in one of our bathtubs upstairs. 
alarm bells are going off in some of y'all's heads, light bulbs going off, because you know where I'm going with this. After some research, it was determined that the water coming out of the ground, out of our well, was a little bit more caustic than normal. And with a pH of six, it's fine to drink, nothing wrong with it, tastes great, full of vitamins and minerals and everything that you would get out of a well water, happy with that. However, due to it being a little bit more aggressive, it is cleaning out our copper pipes on the house. That is what the blue staining is. If you have blue stains in your bathtub, sinks, or toilets, it is because the water is a little aggressive in its pH and is chewing up the copper. Now, what does this mean? This means that in 20 years, you might get a pinhole leak in a copper pipe. It also means that your water might have a penny taste to it. I can't really notice it, but my wife can notice it. Um, and uh, some other folks that have been here have noticed it. So, we still drink it, we still use it, but I don't wanna deal with this issue in the future. So what I'm going to do is replumb the house. It's a two-story house. It's got four bathrooms and a kitchen laundry room it's a pretty big job but the way that the house is set up is i know how to run water pipe pex i have the crimpers i've done it before actually i've i've nearly replumbed the entire upstairs already both bathrooms upstairs so that's done what i need to do is basically we're going to replumb the downstairs and through the attic i'm renting a trencher this weekend to bring a water line over to the side of the house where i want it to come in at and um, i'm going to buy couple rolls of PEX and we're going to replumb the home to where it bypasses all the copper. All the copper will be either cut out or cut off the slab. Um, I wanted to do this anyway and I thought about it for quite a while because as some of you know the house is in a state of um, remodel. It's, it's uh, something we've been working on for a while and we're slowly surely picking away at it. But um, PEX tubing is amazing stuff. It is wonderful. It's way better than copper. It insulates better. It lasts forever. It resists to freezing and busting. So if you ever have wanted to, or if you've got any interest in running PEX, do it because copper is old, outdated, and is not used anymore in most new construction. Um, you go to a new construction track home right now, it is all PEX. Uh, so that being said, we're going to replumb it. Um, I'm excited about it, but I'm also dreading all the work. I physically can't be climbing up in the attic, but Hunter's here and I have the assistance of several other folks that are gonna help, so. That's also been on our plate this week, uh, getting everything together um, and uh, tackling that task. Uh, we also kind of reevaluated our feed costs and we're going to start growing our own fodder, so I'm putting together a video on that as well. And let me tell you all, it is the cheapest thing to do. If you have animals and you want to save some money, sprout your own grain. Wheat, barley, oats, sunflower, alfalfa, whatever you do. Because a 50, a 50 pound grain, a 50 pound bag of grain, we'll call it wheat, you know, can be as little as eight, nine dollars. Now, one pound of soaked grain equals about six pounds of fodder so it is just an amazing uh, source of feed for pennies on the dollar um, and it is packed full of nutrients uh, by adding the water to the fodder and sprouting your own fodder you're unlocking those nutrients that are locked in that grain and it takes about six days for them to sprout and become feed become feed so by the time you soak it on the first day six days later you're feeding this homegrown fodder and it's just an amazing setup. We're, we're piecing together the kit now. Um, and uh, I, I hope you all look forward to that video because I am so, it's, I'm so excited about doing that. And uh, hopefully we'll be putting that together here soon. So that's the other thing that we're trying to put into place because I want to transition our animals to that because it will lighten the load on our, our wallets. Now the goats pay for themselves and so do the rabbits in that I sell rabbit. There's a lot of people here that, that like rabbit and consume rabbit, so I sell them. I sell my dressed out rabbits for $20 each. And um, I get calls all the time for those. And then the milk that we sell pretty much covers the cost of the feed for the goats. So 
by using the fodder, we're just fur trying to further our stretch our dollar a bit more. So hope you all enjoy that video. Um, it's not going to be here in the next week, but maybe the week after to where we get everything put together for and actually start doing it. I have to source a place for barley here in Mobile. So anyway, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> you caught a frog? All by himself. Cool. Well, that's a fat one too. Go take it to me and Mom. <laughs> Don't let it get out or I'll try to escape. Yes. You're gonna scare Mamma with that. Huh? You're gonna scare Mamma with that. <laughs> it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be cool. Oh. Damn it. I dropped the lantern. She's just pulling it right as she pulls out wherever she can reach, under her sides, up underneath her, her back. And she makes a nice, soft blanket. There she goes, putting another batch in. Isn't that amazing? See her hair, that comes out. Good girl, we'll leave you alone. This will be all completely covered in a white blanket. There she goes again. Pull, yank, yank, yank. Mother Nature's best mama. Excuse you. What'd you say? Mother Nature's best mama. Wow. I am Mother Nature's best mama. Here we go. <laughs> well, I don't recall you ripping your hair out to lay a, a nice little nest for Michael when he came out. Well, I had a hospital bed, so with a nice little uh, crib that they provided me. So. Night, night, Eva. We'll see you in your babies in the morning.